Hey, I just had a young student come in and he wanted to learn a Johnny Cash song. And uh, the strumming kind of got him tangled up a little bit. This is what uh, the recording sounded like. Okay, what I'm doing there is I got a C chord except I'm covering two strings here with ring on the fat string third fret G, pinky on the fifth string third fret C, middle and index like a normal C. And that's okay to hit the sixth string because a G is part of a C chord. What I'm gonna do is hit a bass note of C chord. That's the fifth string C. And then I do a down up. That's the bass one more time. Okay, then I'm gonna hit the alternate bass note, which is G. And then, then I'm gonna strum up, down, up. I think it's important that you get that up stroke. Down, up. So it's bass, down, up. Alternate bass, up, down, up. Oops. If you miss, just keep going. It, you, the band, nobody will notice. <laughs> Unless you make a big deal out of it like I just did. If you're recording and want to get it really precise, watch carefully. See these fingers here? Don't fly them in the sky. This is where you want to set them down. Hear that? That gives you a bass. Watch from this angle. These aren't going anywhere. That helps a lot. Versus kind of flying through the sky, wearing out your elbow and shoulder and missing the strings and sounding horrible. This will give you precision. to go to F, you can grab a big fat F bar chord. Here, you're going to go bass, alternate bass. And if you need a G, you're going to go bass, alternate bass. An A minor would be like this, bass, bass, and alternate. So you're kind of getting that boom, boom, boom. Quality. That's a bass and alternate bass. And it's got to be pretty strict, you know, as far as precision and timing, if possible. But if you get a little sloppy and a little lost, just keep tapping your foot, come back where you're supposed to be. And it's, it's okay to drift a little bit, but as we practice, you want to practice precision and do this correctly. If, if, you, if you tangle that all up into a mess, really you've got a mess and you're going to have to unlearn it and that's painful. So I recommend... If you're interested in this style, pay attention to the details, play slow, relax, repeat, do it until you got it nice and natural, then increase the tempo. A big mistake would be just diving in and scrubbing and uh, making a messy bunch of, uh, you know, don't make a big mud, mud pie out of it. Let's be precise. One more time.
something along those lines I think would be reasonable for Johnny Cash style uh, rhythm guitar. Hey, if you can uh, subscribe, that'd be great. I'm going to leave uh, some information about my PayPal account in case you want to slip me 50 cents or a dollar. That'd be cool. You don't have to, but if you got it from in your PayPal account, help a brother out. See you later.